Here we're looking at the substantive test of creditors. We've got an assertion, we've got how that becomes um, an audit objective or an audit question, and the test to resolve that question. First of all, there's existence. Does the creditor exist? And that can be simply tested by confirming a sample of creditors. Then we've got rights and obligations. Does the client owe the company money? Well, we can review a sample of creditor invoices and check that they belong to the company. The next is completeness, and this is the assertion that could potentially be an issue with creditors, because if companies are under some stress, they may want to hide creditors. The explanation or the audit objective is to find out whether all transactions have been recorded in the creditors' balances. So this could be done in a number of ways. We can review of a sample of payments made after year end and ensure that those which should have been included in the creditors have been. We can also look at um, the creditors list from the prior year and to see if any creditors have been missed that you think perhaps should have been. So there are a number of ways of doing this. Then there's valuation and allocation. And we want to make sure that the value of the amount that, we, that the client owes to the creditor is appropriate. Uh, this is not usually a concern, but there may have been terms or payments renegotiated, and these need to be um, checked. Accuracy, that the creditor was recorded at the correct amount. Um, so you take the creditor balances and trace them back to the invoices to ensure that they're correctly recorded. And then finally, classification and understandability, that the creditor is correctly recorded in the financial statements. And we want to check particularly that the current non-current classification is correct. This is particularly important if there is a debt covenant because the classification of non-current and current liabilities can affect whether or not the company client is in breach of the debt covenant. So that's a brief rundown of substantive test of creditors.